so in order to sort this uh, there are some array functions we can actually use now if this was just a simple array it wouldn't be a problem but the problem is this is a multi-dimensional array meaning that there are items in the array but inside this array there are objects in there there's like object one and object two and inside each of those objects is the value that we want to compare or to sort with so that makes things a little bit complex but not a big deal so there's a function called usort you can check this one on php.net in fact you can just go for array functions all these here are array functions just just search for array functions and look at uh, all the functions that are available for you to use this is array functions here on php.net so this one is use sort so it sorts the array that we select and the dollar sign here means the array is passed by reference which means the actual array is edited by this function so we don't expect to get a result uh, we just say use sort and then we put the array there and the array itself will be edited and sorted but we need to supply a callback function here now the function is what will enable us to to decide how to sort things so the callback function here expects two params the first item and the second item so the only thing you have to do is return zero minus one or one depending on whether the first item which is a is greater equal to or less than b so it explains here the comparison function must return an integer less than less than equal to or greater than zero if the first argument is considered to be respectively less than equal to or greater than the second so let's try and see how we can use that so the thing we want to deal with is links so i'm just going to say you sort like that and then I will put that particular array called links and let me put a semicolon there and let's create a function here that we can use a callback function I'm gonna say a and then B because this will receive those two values there like so and so we must return remember that we must return one zero or minus one depending on when we are comparing a to b so in this case for example we're gonna say if now in this case these are objects so don't forget that these are actual objects that we are comparing to so i'm gonna say if a since it's an object a list order because that's the key we are looking for in there if a list order now if list order does not exist we should put those and set it to 10 like that because 10 is the default so if this guy is equal to exactly this on the b then we'll return zero because we know now that they are equal and that's what the function requires so i'm gonna say return zero so it will do the sorting for us as long as we give it this information whether the two things it's comparing are equal uh, less than or whatever you choose to deal with so in the second one we're just going to return something in one line so i'm just going to say return and in this case i will paste this like so so we're comparing a to b again and uh, this time we're using the greater than or less than sign so we've eliminated the if they're equal it will return here but if it comes to this point it means they are not equal so one of them should be greater or less than so let's start with the greater than sign like so so if it's greater we return one if it's less than we return negative one so here we're just doing a comparison here yeah instead of having to do this all the time what we can do is let's set this let's set these guys uh right at the top here so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna say a list order is equal to so I'll do this a list order is equal to 
that to make sure that if it's empty we just set it to 10 so let's put b for this one like so so a, this way we make sure that both a and b actually exist before we make comparisons then we can remove this over there like so that way it reads better okay now we don't actually need to manipulate these we can just say uh, we can actually remove this all together let me do this a is equal to and let's replace it because that's the only information we actually need we grab it there and then that way we can just use a and b all together like this okay so this can be a one-liner like so and in the same way this can be a one-liner as well like this so if a for example is greater than b what we return is one otherwise we return minus one like so okay so hopefully this function actually works to sort our thing now we can confirm this by just we can check i guess to see what's going on so we wanted uh, our high admin to be at the end so let's see if that actually happens and as you can see it went to the end so that sorts the problem out header should the home should always be number one so we can make that happen by going to let's see here where is the head header footer i think oh is it in the menu i think it's in the main menu that we created this one so i will try and let's go to the plugin.php let's look for where there are where we're adding items to the main menu here are we adding items to the main uh, no okay so it doesn't happen in here i guess it still happens from the from the basic oath function so we have sign up login uh yeah this is what we have no it doesn't happen from here where is this happening from this is one problem uh, sometimes it gets hard to find the sources of what we are doing but let me just search for home somewhere oh we have the home page right the home page plugin there we go so it must come from there apparently not okay so it's not in here then where is it coming from let me try and search for home here nothing okay so it's not in the home page oh it should be in the header footer i think yeah that's where it is header footer that's where home comes from so uh in here we can put a list order as well list order and let's put a number of one here just to make sure it's always the first one because we shouldn't go below that so i'm going to refresh and let's just make sure it's always at the top then you can swap these now from the actual let's try and swap these mega i'll put nine on this one that way it comes first than my drop down so in order for that to happen we need to be able to edit those params when we click the edit button so i want let's see my mega here oh yeah let me move my mega here this one i should probably have put 20 just to be sure uh in the main menu where is the plugin for main menu here it's not not for main menu but for basic basic oath so basic oath plugin where is the high admin part so instead of 11 let me just put 20 so that i can put other things in between 10 and 20 but they will still be less than 20. 
okay so we you can set it so that number 20 is like the highest but these numbers don't really matter as long as they are integers it will still work just fine so what am i trying to do here i'm trying to edit uh wait 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 i'm trying to make it so that we can actually edit this my mega is here where is that my mega right there i want to edit this so that i can order edit the order number here so there's a link here there's select parent so i can put an extra input here for list order so back to the plugin which is main menu and this is probably the final thing we should be adding inside views there's the edit view and let's go down to one of these guys that have a 12 here so this title uh this one right here parent okay so i'm going to change that to six so that it shares half the space and try to grab something that is an input, uh, which is like, wait a minute, like slag, for example. I will copy this guy and I will put it right under parent here. So parent starts from here and ends there. So I will put this here. Okay, so this one will be called list order. Hmm. I wanted a label for this. Okay, so there is a label I can put. Like that. Oops. List order. Let's remove the autofocus from here name will be list order so i'm gonna do that list order i don't expect any errors from this particular thing so i can remove this error thingy here but you can leave it just in case you you want to show errors if any for this box and what else am i gonna do type is number uh, the default value should be 10, but since this is on the edit, we'll let that be the default value, whatever is already in there. Placeholder, list order. So you can do more explanation there or more explaining there for your users. Let me refresh. Okay, so list order is right there, but it goes all the way to the end. So let's change that to six, like so. Okay, so the number here is 10, but I want it on number nine, like so. And so let's just save right there, boom. So this is the beauty of using models and selecting which columns are allowed because the moment I add that column here, it immediately works. So if I click edit, I should see a nine over here, which is true. That's what it is. Let's go to view here. I should see the list order on view as well. So let's go and check out the view here. And let me go down to where it says parent and I will duplicate this guy. Change both of these to six. Change this one to list order. And that too. Okay, so that way on the view, you can actually see what list order this is. Okay, back. Now you can put list order on here as well so that you can see how each one of them compares with the friend. Uh, so we can do that there. There's actually order already here, is it? There's order here, but it's showing the wrong information. So let's fix that. 
So inside the list view, let's come here and instead of repeating ID, we will put a list order like so. Okay, so if I now refresh, you should see 10, 10, 10, and this one is 9, 9, and so on. Now, if you want on the list view, you want to list these by the list order, you can actually do that by just changing how the how this thing is reading from the database. So if I go to plugin.php here, and let's look at where it reads for the list view, which is over here. That's where the list view is. You can actually add to this by saying uh, list column, for example. Uh, no, actually order column. You change the order column to list order. And then you can change the order, whether it's ascending or descending. Now, if you want the first number to start, we will change that to ascending or disk, which is the default if we want the opposite. So if I refresh, you see that number nine is what comes first. And then we have 10, 10, 10 for the rest of these. So you can actually do that so that the items that come first will show first in the list here or you can leave it as it is to show them as you create them as you created the order in which they were created okay so now if i refresh my mega comes first then this one that's how you can swap these things around and show the appropriate thing plus images and all that this actually concludes our creation of this thing here the main menu plugin now you may be asking about the logo here so logo can just be a hard coded thing if you want you can just put a logo uh, in the assets of this particular plugin and then pull that logo from there which is what i do when creating these things but if you want it to be something added uh, through the UI here, you can do that by just going to this menu thingy. And then you can create something here, like maybe right on the top here, where we add the logo, because that represents the entire, but then you'd have to create a new table for that to accommodate that logo thing and so on. Now you will see how we can add such a feature when we add the uh, a plugin for the home page here. We'll add a plugin. We'll create a, a plugin for the home page slider here because most websites have sliders and all that. So we can do something similar. I can show you something um, that I was working on here. Okay, so something like this here where it has um, this one does have a mega menu. It does, right? But then it has uh, a slider over here. This is also a plugin. So each one of these things is a plugin. This is another plugin for categories. Uh, there's a plugin for creating pages, etc., etc. All right, guys. So I will see you in the next video.